this is how it came out. Monk MT here. I just finished an amazing one pot soup that I'm gonna be showing you guys that I got from an amazing garden in the back of a church, a community garden. And I wanted to show you guys my backyard garden that me and my dad made because I am so blessed by this food and this is the real medicine. This is the real healing. This is prevention of disease. This is making you feel like a little kid. <coughs> Excuse me. Help me cough up my toxins here even. Mango trees, papaya. Over here we have watermelon, Malabar spinach, lemon, lime, grapefruit. We got salad greens. We have uh, aloe vera, a lot of aloe vera. Papaya over here. We made grow boxes, guys. These things water themselves. They're on automatic timers. And this is a possibility for everybody to grow medicine and life and free food in their backyard. This saves us a lot of money and this gives us a whole lot of health. And I'm gonna show you guys a soup that we're able to make from our garden and from this community garden. I'm gonna show you clips from the community garden. This is real medicine. And um, this is something that the world needs. We need real food. You guys know the story. The food in the supermarket doesn't have the minerals because mass marketing doesn't care about quality as much as profit and quantity. So they don't take care of the soil. They don't do the composting that takes a lot of time and effort. Instead, they use fertilizers. We got an herb garden here and raised beds and this stuff Yes, it takes a little bit of time and effort to set up, but number one, it's good for you to get out here. It makes you strong, connected to the earth. Earthing is so good for you. It literally decreases inflammation in your body, gives you antioxidants. Being in touch with the ground and nature is so empowering and healing. It's good for mental health. Don't wear shoes out in the garden, guys. You got kale back here. And take your time. Just start with an herb garden. Start with anything. Start with one grow box. I'm gonna make videos on how to make grow boxes. Raised beds and trellises are simple. You get to come out here and hang out with your, your friends and family. We got banana trees back here as a border to our house. See how we make um, banana tree border. Um, big mango tree. This is pure medicine and pure joy. And guys, you can instantly start making soups, salads that just bring out the best in you. and. This is a guanabana tree. I'll introduce you to Mr. Guanabana, aka Soursop. Yes, cures cancer. PubMed verified. Curry tree. And uh, this is heaven on earth. This is, uh, you'll be surprised how empowered you feel when you eat real food with real minerals and real nutrients, fresh, just picked. You know, these things bless us with their lives. Whether it's papaya or spinach, and man, that soup just. The radish. The radish is just so powerful. Hey, look at this. Papaya party going on. Papaya party. So that's the garden, guys. And we have a, a cherry tree out front. Uh, little peppers over here. So. Again, this is just a source of joy. The neighbors love it, we love it. Um, salad greens growing up right there. Our neighbor, you see our neighbor? He has some papaya trees that he started growing. And um, one thing that I'm gonna start getting more into, see our neighbor's trees, is building these for the community. You can build them out of bricks, fill it with composted dirt, get quality dirt. Or you can build it from wood, like over here. Put it on a timer and uh, enjoy the fruits of Mother Earth. Man. Just so blessed. This is, this is heaven on earth and more people gotta feel what it's like to be empowered just eating, just eating herbs. And you know, start one thing at a time, make it a fun project. This will enlighten you. This will.
That's it. This will do that to you. So check out the soup and uh, more to come on this because this is this is the heart of health. Monk MC. No. You don't want to use that, right? Yeah. Those are the two like main ingredients to spice up your soup. Hmm. Okay. So well. we can use carrots, celery, all of these spices, and then bok choy too. Hmm. Yeah. And bok choy is gonna be good. You know what else mm -hmm. is really good? I got collard greens. We're gonna use a mixture of different herbs, right? I mean, mm -hmm. turmeric, ginger, obviously salt and pepper. But basil, like it's really up to you. You just freestyle on the herbs that you want to use. You could even use garam masala, like a curry, right? No, I just started the heat. So I cook it in this one. Bravo radish. Let me cut that guy up. Let's use the whole thing, yeah. Wash your hands. No. Yeah, you both like glass. Okay, those. You don't want these on you, so put these in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, we put olive oil, sweet potato, cilantro. What other herbs did we put? We got carrots in there. Parsley, cilantro. Parsley, cilantro. Fried basil. Yeah. I'm gonna put some fresh basil in there. I think we're good. Yeah? Okay. Well, we can keep on adding herbs.